Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Govinsky's Tutorials. Today I want to share a couple of tips about, now there could be a lot of tips about this, so this is just a few, about getting better quality sounding MIDI from MIDI generator apps. So here I've got Piano Motifs, I really like this app, and I often use it to generate MIDI. Now, let's listen to what we've got here. So this is Piano Tech being played by some MIDI that started off in Piano Motifs, but it sounds a bit different from how it started. So if we um, switch this out. Now, by the way, I'm using AUM here, if you're unfamiliar. This host app on my iPad. So, if we take the MIDI directly from Piano Motifs. Now, if you don't know how to do all these things, I've got a walkthrough on AUM. So, this is um, the MIDI coming directly from Piano Motifs which does sound nice, but... Oops. Uh, if we look here, we've only actually got two different velocities, right? 52 and 60. A a any human playing a piano, there would be a lot more variety in the velocity. Let's listen to that again. just doesn't sound that human, right? Because the velocity is has not got enough range. Now, there are a few different things that we could use. You know, we could use some MIDI tool to add a little bit of randomization into the velocity there. So here I'm doing that, but I'm also doing a bit of arpeggiation. So I've put it into Bleece Arpeggiator. And in Bleece Arpeggiator, um, I, I turned on this fixed velocity section, but I turned down the velocity quite low, 36%, but then with a little bit of randomness in there. So you see here, there's no randomness. Doesn't sound all that great, right? Now here there's too much randomness, right? That doesn't sound like a good player. So we want to dial in just, you know, a little bit of randomness. Okay, so that's um, two tips. Do a little bit of randomization of velocity. Also, just with piano motifs, I often, and with a lot of MIDI generators, I find that um, I often like to slow everything down. So if you also look at the BPM here, it's pretty slow. I like to slow things down, and I like to reduce the velocity. Um, there are other things that we could use. So... In Mosaic, uh, which is a kind of MIDI processor app, there are a lot of scripts for that on patch storage, and I know there's a couple um, that give you this uh, velocity uh, variation. But I'll just show you another app here that I sometimes use. So this is part of a collection called MIDI Tools by um, AudioVeek, actually. Now that is Victor Poroff on the App Store, the same developer as Atom2. So when we load MIDI Curve, we would just feed in piano motifs into that. And then in MIDI Curve, um, we can just set up um, an a minimum output velocity, let's just say 24, 
and a maximum output velocity, let's say 36. And then I click over here to send the MIDI from that, the MIDI from MIDI curve into this. Right, and that's nice, isn't it? So right, you can just play around and Do you see here I've got this in and out link turned off? So Oops, out minimum. So the maximum, it's not playing it at that because this is not putting out uh, very high velocity notes. But here we've got more variation. Okay, so play around with the velocity. I usually bring the velocity down and bring in randomization, a little bit of randomization, not too much. Too much will not sound good. But yeah, I also love to use some arpeggiator or something like that. And then also use something like um, chow tape. This is free to just bring in a little bit of wow and flutter. Let's just turn that up a little bit. So you see, that's too much, isn't it? Right, that's... So we bring the depth down. And we can maybe bring the rate down. Okay, playing around with these two. So that just gives it a little bit of a more you know, tapey sound, or we could use real bus. I've done videos on both of these. But then another important thing is the setup here with piano tech with the sustain pedal. So that's the last thing that I'm going to talk about in this video. So um, if we uh, if we just put the sustain pedal up full on piano tech. It doesn't really sound that good, especially at faster speeds, because it just gets super muddy. So here I'm using MIDI LFOs to basically play the sustain pedal. Now I've got a full walkthrough on this on my Patreon. And, you know, this Patreon, everybody, it'd be great if more people joined. It would really help me. But also, um, everybody who's in my Patreon is just loving it. Lots of exclusive content, giveaways. It's brilliant. So take a look at it. Link in the description. So, um, yeah, let's look at this setup with setting up MIDI LFOs to play the sustain pedal here of Piano Tech. Oh, wow. I, I never really opened that. Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, let's, let's look at the setup here. So, this is um, set up to receive on uh, CC64. Now, we, we could get it receiving on anything by setting things up differently in here if we wanted, but it's just set like that. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that the LFO you're sending MIDI out on to control that sustain pedal is also set up on uh, CC64. Okay, and... Then what you want to do is adjust 
the minimum and maximum value. So, um, if 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 we have it like this, it's not going to sound good, right? If we're going to let it go all the way down to zero and go up all the way to 127, it just won't sound good. You see? You know, nobody's going to play a sustain pedal like that, right? So the good thing about piano tech is that the sustain pedal is incremental. It's not just on or off, um, which gives you a lot more control. So here, the way we've got it set up is that we can put in something. I like to put in a, a lower value, something around maybe 70. Maybe a little bit higher, 73, 74. Let's slow that down. So you'll just want to use your ears to find what's a good maximum and minimum value. That sounds pretty good. Um, you know, if the MIDI is very fast, then you're going to need to be a bit more careful. Um, and if it's very slow, you'll also maybe need to be more careful. So yeah, I just play around with those. But with you know the combination, let's let's just go back again and see what it would be like from piano motifs, fast, and with so let's say like around a hundred BPM, fast and with no no sustain. Okay, I gotta turn off the. Okay, this is melodically very interesting. You listen to it and you go, that has great potential, but it doesn't sound like a human playing. So it's really, I think, a, a huge transformation. Put it through an arpeggiator. In the arpeggiator here, I've also got it set up that it's on a lower velocity with a little bit of randomness, a little bit of randomness, 9% randomness. Okay, that's already nice. Let's add in the sustain pedal. And let's slow it down. And now we have something quite beautiful, right? So, yeah, um, I mean, I recommend all of these apps. Piano Motifs, really a very, very musical MIDI generator, but slow it down and reduce the velocity and bring in a little bit of randomness. Piano tech, amazing. But if you don't have a sustain pedal of your own, um, then yeah, if you want to play with two hands also, for example, and you don't have a sustain pedal, then you really want to set up an LFO to play that sustain pedal for you so that it's not on all the time. Just will get muddy sounding. And so then you're going to want to make sure that you set up your minimum and maximum values right so that it's not too sparse and it's also not overwhelming. And then again, maybe add in a little bit of some sort of tape effect for just a subtle little bit of wow and flutter. And slow everything down nicely. And then we have something pretty beautiful. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.